Hello and welcome to the first lecture on wireless and mobile communication. I am Professor Pudhaditya Bhattacharya uh, of Saint School, uh, Great University. In this uh, particular uh, topic, there happens to be in a different way aspects of how the generation of wireless and mobile communication has evolved uh, in due course of time. Uh, but um, before going to that, uh, I thought of giving us an give giving a real life um, scenario that. What in Indian context is actually happening uh, to this particular field of study, and in that uh, this particular diagram actually gives us an indication that uh, for each one of us as a user, we are all hooked up to onto our systems, be it a laptop, be it a mobile phone, to the mobile uh, communication or wireless service, be it in different forms, whatever the bigger form. So that's why the significance of this subject lies in that. So there has been a common interest amongst all, be it an urban or a rural environment, uh, and that particular growth has instigated in a lot of way that how this uh, different domains of expertise in this particular subject, in this particular uh, subject of wireless and mobile communication, uh, can take place. So in in, in in light of that, um, I want to show some statistics which has uh, which are there as in case of in, in try. I'll give the source later. So in in try as published mean is is actually they, they publish documents at regular interval of time. But this particularly in an interesting document is observed in 2016 document uh, because in this in, the, in any initially the one one of few observation that you can see here is that about 2.73 percentage of improvement or monthly growth rate is observed in which a contribution from 2.97 percent is from the urban environment or urban telecom users and there is around 2.40 percentage of improvement from the rural environment. Now the thing is that is quite an interesting notion because we usually observe or we usually think in that way that in urban population is more so naturally there is supposed to be more number of subscriber database but on the contrary rural environment also shows a quite a bit of healthy competition with the urban population so that is quite obvious from this particular uh, nature and that also triggers one in idea that actually wireless service has gone to each and every user or each and every member who are going to use a smartphone or for that matter at least a GSM phone call and that has reached to the rural participants as well. So that is the beauty of wireless communication and that is how it has uh, been there for ages. But this is some interesting, some very common uh, or rather some latest statistics that has evolved to try. So that's where we are, I'm focusing on, especially with respect to Indian context. Okay. So, uh, in light of that, uh, one very interesting observation can be done from here. Uh, in this particular um, pie chart, we are actually showing um, the different market shares of the different vendors possible. The, the, the common vendors which we usually look into uh, like the uh, Bharti Airtel which is having around 24% of the market share. Whereas the Vodafone will have an 18.7, whereas Idea is having 17.1. So basically, it indicates the amount of market share, and this market share directly depends on the number of users as a database. So the more I can recruit, or the more uh, I will, uh, I have a subscriber database. Okay, the more the people I need to give the service, naturally I'll have a much bigger market share. So that is what. Um, is indicative in this case but one very interesting fact is that Reliance Geo at in 2016 is having a 3.3 percent of market share but using this market share of 3.30 in the next slide you can see over here that it has a humongous leap in the overall subscribers which are net addition to the wireless user okay. so this is a very interesting observation that we are uh, observing out here with respect to the other um, telecom operators, it is a huge improvement. So that is what the net addition is. And see, so, so most of this net addition that you are observing is being contributed by Reliance Geo. So with a market share of around 3.3%, 3 
in 2016 they are having this many people added only within one month so that is what uh, i mean focus is so there must be some reason right? there must be some ways and that has also impacted the overall uh, telecommunicate industry which i will show you another with another statistics so later on uh, going further this is also one um, um, one idea which again is similar to what we have observed that the service provider what is monthly growth actually in october 2016 when we are looking at it reliance jio is shooting like anything so it's a it's a growth of around 130 percent that we are observing over here almost 120 percent or more than that so it's a huge benefit okay so the next part is so so the basic idea is so the basic knowledge that we gather that wireless communication or wireless mobile telephone for that matter has evolved in such a manner that if the the vendors or the telecom service providers are actually willing to pay more to acquire the bandwidth or the spectrum so that this many number of millions of people millions of people can actually come and use those spectrum so they will naturally use you you use it and naturally there will be a revenue cycle cycle that will be generated so that is where where the whole idea comes in why it is a very lucrative uh, business to work on now in terms of wire line which we we already seen that wire line structure wire line uh, communication also has a very less growth much much lesser growth in comparison to wired but even for that the market share if we consider the most of the things most of the market share is owned by bsnl which we all are obvious this bsnl communication or wired communication was the only communication that was possible at some uh, point of time but we can also observe that there is a sharp decline okay in the total number of users who are actively using a wired connection so you can observe that actually bsnl is losing or the profit margin for bsnl has gone substantially so it is actually going down as increase of subscribers so that is also kind of a evidence that wire less communication is more of a favorable condition for us compared to an wired connection so wired and wireline what are the wireless and wireline what are the advantages disadvantages those things can be dealt at as at, at a later stage for the time being the statistic shows that wireless is a booming industry why we are going towards the wireless and the statistic actually shows that now to come to that conclusion that 2016 now we have another statistic that is in 2018 now we can observe that there is a sharp change in the overall growth rate now you can see here in this is uh, another one that is released on 2031st march 2018 with respect to uh, the growth here also you can observe that there is a the growth has come down at least okay at least in this particular uh, region you can see 2.29 whereas it was 2.73 because the total number of people who were using any particular vendor or any particular service provider it is also coming to a saturation and also there is a net addition to the new users okay so what we are observing here in 31st march in the march database for 2018 for um, telecom uh, tri report that it has come down a bit and what it actually triggers is that also the market share which we have observed in 2016 of 3.3% for reliance jio this has actually come up to a certain extent you can see instead of the 2 3.3 out here okay this was 3.3 out here it has come to 15.76% so it's a huge huge leap that is because the number of users have users have really increased for this particular vendor and you can see the rest of the chunk is still the same it's almost 17.85 which was 17.17 very less growth but it's substantial the like same growth 18.82 for vodafone it, it was 18.72 so there is a net loss and also in bharti airtel it is 25.7 which was 24.72 so with respect to the other giants reliance is showing a huge 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 jump in the market share so that is where the main idea comes in that how come the service providers or wireless subscriber is accessing the net addition is happening in now in 2016 
2018. Now, now you can see that in this case, which was there earlier, the one that we have shown, here the difference was too high. Okay? But when you are comparing here, the difference is coming less, it is becoming less. So if this is happening, this, this difference is happening, so something is done, needs to be done by this operator so that the user is interested actually to continue with this vendor. Okay? So that's what we have done. So another very interesting statistic that goes in like this, that the rates are coming down. Okay? The rates mean that we are looking at the average data tariff per GB data usage. So, okay, so this has come down. So in 2014, it was like 269 rupees per GB of data usage, which has come down to 19. Okay, so it's a huge draw. Now, this draw is because people are starting to use the data more. Because in 2014, it was only using 2.0.26 of a GB per month because it was very expensive. But now the expense has come down. So that's why 4.13 GB almost on an average people are using it but what it also triggers is that the average revenue earned you can see the last one the average revenue earned out here for the voice and data that has come down okay this has come down so the whatever the earning it was in 2014 although it shoot up in 2015 but it has come down to drastic level in 2017 so the average revenue per user has come down because there is a lot of competition amongst the vendors to provide you with the service of equal uh, facilities okay so that has been the case and also you can see because of this low because of this earlier graph that we have shown that average data traffic has come down the cost is less so naturally the what what is what we are observing over here is the post geo and the and the schemes that they have provided us with the average voice communication, this is for 2G or GSM if you call it, the voice communication that is, so voice minutes per user per month has gone like anything because the cost is less. So the basic idea is that we have to reduce the cost and we have to give the advantage, we have to give the additional advantage to the end user satisfaction. So in, this is the end of our first video, we will come back with a second video the cellular company.